Nothing spells comfort like a gorgeous, chunky, flavorful lamb hot pot stewed to perfection. Welcome to Winfrey's Kitchen family. If you like what you see, please subscribe, thumbs up, and share with your family and friends. Winfrey's Kitchen! Today we are preparing lamb casserole and to do that we need lamb shanks. Lamb shanks are from the bottom section of the leg just below the knee. There are different ways of preparing it. It can be braised, it can be grilled or can be roasted. But with today's recipe, we are braising it. To braise it, you need five uh, medium-sized tomatoes because I have two kgs of lamb shanks but if you have less of course you use less tomatoes have one bell pepper uh, one onion you will use like three or four cloves of garlic uh, a small uh, piece of ginger you will use one bunch of coriander and three medium-sized carrots to season it you will use wheat flour you can use whatever brand you have one tablespoon of paprika one tablespoon of cumin i've used a um, herbal salt and black pepper to taste so first we're going to season our lamb shanks and we're going to mix all our ingredients so once it's mixed now i'm going to dip uh, my lamb and once you remove the excess ensure every part is covered we will repeat the, this process with every shank we have here so this is how it looks once we have seasoned it so now we go to brown it. We are going to heat our oil. My oil is ready. So I am putting my shanks in the brown. So the first batch, the first batch is ready. I'm done browning the lamb shanks. Next step is to braise them. We'll first prepare our vegetables starting with onions, bell peppers, garlic, ginger, coriander stems, carrots, And grated tomatoes. I grate my tomatoes because they can be quickly transformed into sauce which preserves their bright summery fresh flavors. I'll put my onions, garlic, ginger, a bell pepper and um, coriander stems and I'm going to saute them for like two, uh, one two minutes. I'm adding in my carrots. So I'm 
adding in my tomato. I'm going to add in my paprika. my cumin and my salt i'm going to let this cook it will simmer for like three minutes So once it's cooked, I am adding in my lamb, we are going to braise it, now I'm adding my water, ensure it has covered it. Next, we we'll let the lamb shank simmer. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker at home, you can use a jiko. I don't have one, so I will transfer this stew to my jiko and let it simmer for around 45 minutes until very tender. Our lamb casserole is ready, so I'm going to garnish it with coriander leaves. Now let's serve it. Make sure you don't overcook your lamb shanks to get maximum enjoyment out of it. I hope you guys love this recipe and I'll see you in the next episode of Winfrey's Kitchen. Follow for more!